We're a project for young individuals from the age of 20-ish uh, through to 25, 26, um, where the individuals have uh, a mild intellectual disability and um, who are post-school um, and rehabilitative training. So what we do is we bring them in and then put into practical terms what they've learnt in both school and in training uh, into a, a practical environment and also provide, I suppose, community integration so that they can utilise the skills that they, they learn and have learnt um, out in the community. We look at, I suppose, that all the practical elements uh, and we try and keep it very practical and very orientated around getting people involved. Um, so, back to education, we have some of our, our, our students, or the lads as I would call them, go to the likes of DTV colleges doing level threes, fours and fives. I completed, uh, was it, uh, the present school goal award in the village. I have, um, I have uh, was uh, qualified uh, in VTAC level five as an occupational first aid. I have um, done um, so far recently. I've qual was I done uh, was I qualified my full uh, VTAC award in uh, was a general learning back to education initiative. It's quite a diverse bunch within the education and the the training element we were very conscious of making it real. So we've set up a, a shop, a social enterprise, so it brings an element of um, practical skills um, with learning. So you're, you're being trained to do something, you're learning something in a very practical way and, and there's ongoing learning. And because it's a, you could describe it as soft skills learning, uh, and blended learning because it's not all formal and this is a course and this is how it happens. Um, people with intellectual disabilities find that that's a lot more easy and gentle and there's less emphasis on achieving a result in a very set timeline. There's so many skills learned from the shop. Like we mem um, I remember there was a year or two we, we all gathered around as a group and we wanted to come up with our own business idea. Like how to ma how to learn to build a business, how to manage manage a business, and so and then we got we got we we went into the room and we wrote on paper what we want what we want to do with this room and up to date it came out as what we wanted. And the practical stuff that I learned that I never experienced was using a you know coffee machine like you know uh, managing money like you know doing accounts and um, you know and uh, how to um, or the stock and stuff, and you know, again, you know, and advertising, you know, through social medias and etc. You know. I learned like how to walk a machine, like the till. I work with customers. What else? Uh, like how to use machine. Like at first, I couldn't use machine at first. Then I got hand of then. Then I know how to do the formula like, as well. So, and how to make lattes and coffees. It helped me an awful lot, like, because you've got to be more independent, like, then the other course you weren't independent, but now here you're independent. You could, like, do, like, you get your own key, like, you could come in now at weekends if you take part, or come in the weekend to be do my CV or whatever, update your CV or whatever, so it helped me an awful lot, like, but, like, talk to people more, out of myself more. You have your own responsibilities, you know, Do you're not, like, you're not, like, you're treated as an adult, and what you want as an adult you get, like, well, everybody gets on with each other, like. So everybody talks to each other, like, they help you out whenever. The fact that the, the, the individuals took part in the process, uh, and when we went for our interview, they took an active part in the, the, the interview and told their own stories and how it had made a difference to them. Uh, and related, related it in a very clear way um, was great because it's something that they wouldn't normally do and wouldn't normally have been kind of given the, I suppose, the responsibility of being allowed to do that. Um, but I suppose our project is different. We believe in letting the, the, the individual advocate for themselves. 
like they were asking like because we had to explain what we were doing in the village like the project and the court but then some we were like saying like like some of us that got a qualification in the first A or like UCC so we were like saying oh people like who didn't know how to get on the buses and stuff so then they learned how to get on and get off and stuff so so then Dublin it was just amazing well we went in you know went up we were, we were we we went in and as as not as not as an interview can be it can be shattering like you know but sure we got on with the view we 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 saw what we wants what what we had to say in both the space and there we are. It was a way of I suppose validating our program, uh, seeing or getting somebody else to look at it and see where are we ticking the boxes and um, where are we any good at doing what we said we were doing. It meant a huge amount to the, 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 the lads and the ladies that we support here. Um, and a prime example of, of what it meant was seeing the excitement and the joy uh, and the nervousness of being involved in the whole process. Um, and how people came out of themselves in the interviews and came out of themselves at the award ceremony. Um, and there's such learning even in that process. We got to talk to people on our table that we didn't know, so then we got to know them. Then the new awards were being called out, then when they said the Munster Award in the village, we were like, when the village called, called out, we were like, we, couldn't, we didn't inspect it. First time we didn't inspect it. Your name being called out the village project was the proudest moment, like, you know, like, you know, and so far the world is after helping us now, you know, that we're exceeding, you know. I really want to get out, you know, like, do, uh, help people, like, you know, like, I love to go into emergency services, because I've done, uh, I've done, um, was well, an experience in the fire station, mostly in public services, you know, with Garda, Garda Shikana, and, uh, now I hopefully get, love to do an experience in, in the uh, paramedics you know and see where it goes from there hopefully you want to join up you know uh, St John's Ambulance or the Irish Cross hopefully I get a get education and then probably play for a job like with the education I have with the education I have on my CV and some more experiences the future is looking positive at the moment we've secured funding for the the next couple of years um, on on the back of I suppose successful outcomes with regards to what we've done both through the UNTAS and the, the STAR Award but also uh, through the, the fact that we're hitting our target points. Um, we've had five individuals who have completed or are in the process of completing studies with UCC. We've had um, a few level five qualifications got through the Cork ETB. Uh, we've got quite a number of back to education qualifications at level four, again through the, the auspices of the, the ETB. And um, we were in a fortunate situation that we also have potentially five or six individuals who have, are on the, the cusp of getting employment uh, through a variety of different uh, arrangements with employers. Uh, so it, it's all good. <laughs> When I didn't came to the village, I didn't know what I want, you know, like, you know, as you're a young age, you know, and there's, you know, your mind is around the place, you know, and I stepped in and I, uh, like, I know my pathway to my future, what I want to do now, and uh, I hope to succeed in it, like, you know, thanks to the village project, like, for that, like, you know.